What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. We're gonna take out this boat today. We're going diving with David's Going Fishing Hawaii. Hopefully we catch some pow pow, maybe some papillo, snapper, whatever is biting. Uh, it's gonna be a fun day in the bay. See you in the water. Uh oh, this came off. <laughs> Open ocean right now. So David was able to bring me over to his pow pow spot. Super, super blessed, super, super happy to be out here in the water. It is a beautiful day. Um, and the sun is starting to go down when pow pow are most active. So right over here, I'm on top of the reef structure and I'm just going over here to the drop off and that's where the pow pow typically like to roam around. And I'm just kind of like looking around. This is my first time at this specific spot. I'm trying to see if there's any pow pow in the area. Pow pow like to run this drop off because it's an easy, easy place to find prey, small fish, and different mollusks. Now, as I'm looking, sure enough, a pow pow comes into range and I can see it right on the outline of the murk. Unfortunately, it was too far for me to get a shot, but we know that they're here and we're gonna keep hunting to get some more. Pow pow are the only jack species that you'll see if you're hunting these reef drop offs. Um, just because like this is a common place for other predatory fish like the peel and omelu to roam by, barracuda and sharks as well. So you want to keep your head on a swivel, make sure that there's nothing coming behind you or above you or right in front of you. Uh, just always be looking around trying to find uh, pow pow, but just being safe as well. Over here I'm stalking this 12 pound kaku or barracuda. Um, I didn't really realize how big it was so I didn't end up taking it, but uh, as I'm hunting it I see uh, a legal size papillo in the school of smaller ones. And I try and take a shot on it, but of course my gun is on safety. That happened so much during this dive, it was getting really frustrating. I'm waiting for these papillo to come back uh, past the school of parrotfish. And as they move out of frame, I actually see this huge barracuda coming back. It turns broadside, I realize it's way too big. It could have cigatera, too much of it at least. But I noticed that there was some lie behind it and they started to come over to me. I decided to take one. This is my first lie. Um, they've been super pesky and elusive, so I'm glad that I can finally get one on the table. Um, it tasted super good. So right here, David shot at an Ava, but he missed, unfortunately. Uh, but there was enough noise to attract two bigger pow pow, uh, and they came right in. Right now, I'm just creeping over to them. They typically don't move too fast, but these ones got spooked away and I wasn't able to get into range to shoot them. Usually, I don't recommend chasing fish, but pow pow specifically are fish that usually will just relax and pass by slowly. So right here, I'm diving down again, and I'm just kind of grunting and waiting to see if a pow pow will cross right in front of me. And of course, one is moving right through the murk and I'm starting to swim up. I'm really hoping that I'm able to get this pow pow. And I try and shoot and I'm on safety. So I put myself off safety and take a shot. And I think that lie was slowing down my spear because uh, I was lined up on the fish, but never brought him back. Upset that the pow pow got away, but we still got some hours left in the day and then we'll try again. So right here, I'm taking another drop. Um, water clarity is pretty good. It's still a little murky, but I spotted this pow pow right in the distance and uh, I'm moving over towards it. There's two right now. I'm trying to take a shot on the closer one. And I take a shot and I actually do hit the fish. The spear moves with the fish. And uh, I think that because that lie is again on the stringer, it didn't penetrate through the fish entirely and the fish was able to tear it through. I'll go ahead and replay that so you can see uh, the spear is actually embedded in the fish. Super, super upset that it got away. But we, again, we still have some time in the day. Hopefully get another. All right, so this is the moment you've been waiting for. Uh, this is at the very, very end of our dive. We had just come across an aggressive looking hammerhead shark that just came in straight on. So I decided to move spots and uh, I saw some pualu in the distance. Right now I only have a lie and there's only so much meat on that fish. So I'm trying to get uh, at least a pualu or two um, just to bring it back to the table. I'm grunting and hoping for some pow pow, but really my eyes are set on these koala for the right now. And you can see the fish right there. I look away and as I come back, look at what happens. That pow pow gave me a perfect stone shot. I was able to bring it back and then my GoPro freezes. So I literally got it right on time. 
Even though my GoPro freezed, you can just hear how excited David and I were. Let's go! Let me run back that shot just one more time so you can see it again. Now, pow, pow, they don't usually come this close to you, but fortunately, I was able to get a great shot and bring that fish back home. Beautiful, beautiful golden trevally. These fish are super rare and it is my personal best. So I'm really excited to share this moment with y'all. We paddled it back all the way uh, to shore and we're gonna learn how to clean it and I'll teach you how to cook it too. All right guys, so it is the next morning, day after we shot this beautiful, beautiful fish. And uh, we've just been keeping it in this ice chest right here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful pow pow. Uh, as soon as you shoot these fish, you wanna make sure that they're as fresh as they can be uh, before you clean it. Right now, I'm going to teach you exactly how to clean it, and I'm gonna teach you how to cook it as well. So let's jump right into this uh, section of the video, and I'll also give you some information about the pow pow fish as well. So really nice pow pow right here. Um, there are certain ways that you can identify what a pow pow or golden trevally is. So the first major way that you can identify a pow pow or golden trevally is the golden yellow fins um, all throughout the entire fish. And there's also some gold that is lightly scattered down the head and the body as well. The next way that you can identify one is their dark stripes that are coming down their body. It's like little like black bars almost when they're still alive. And then it fades um, after their death. But there's also a bunch of these little black dots, not to be confused with the electric blue dots of um, Nulu. And they typically have a prominent black bar through their eye as well. Pow pow are a type of jack species that um, feeds mainly towards the bottom. They go and hunt uh, small crabs and crustaceans, mollusks, and little small fish that are near the bottom. So they use this little mouth that they have to actually protrude out of the body and suction up anything that may be on the bottom. Now the first thing that we're gonna do with this fish is just cut down right here on the side. As deep as far as you can go to the top of the head. Once you have made that incision, then you're going to cut around over along the spine. And you're just going to feel the spine, and uh, there's no rush to you know, take your time. And then you're going to continue these cuts until you make it to about right here past that dorsal spine. Now I'm going to use a longer knife for this section because this is a bigger fish. And cut as much as you can right there until the very end now just run your knife along that backbone get as much of the meat off as you can make sure that there's no meat left on the spine this is where we're gonna make our incision back here there we go and that is one nice pow pow filet. That's exactly what we're looking for right there. It's gonna be really, really nice. We're gonna clean this up even further. Um, but for now, let's take a look. Now this is not a bad job. There's still a little bit of meat right here on the sides, but for now, we're just gonna flip the fish over. So what we're gonna do right now is just measure it with this measuring tape. And that comes in at around 21 and three quarters. That is a nice fish. That's to the fork length it's from the Tip of the tail coming down is about 25.5 inches. Still can't get over it. Can't believe I actually shot one. Um, we're gonna have to go back to that spot and uh, get some more fish too. And I'm so happy I got it on film. Right here from this peck fin, cut down all the way up some of that head meat and just work it down the spine. Make some incisions, make this a little cleaner, easier for future use. I know some people like this this way better. So we're gonna just cut down, follow the spine along that way. This is a pretty good job too. I wouldn't really say that it matters which way you fillet it. Um, just as long as you're collecting a majority of that meat. There we go. Our second fillet, nicely done. And of course, our pow pow cleaned on both sides. Okay, y'all, we are done filleting this pow pow. We got all the sections, it's all deboned, everything. Um, so we're just gonna take it inside, clean it up, make sure it's nice and fresh, and then we're gonna put it right into the, the fridge. All right, folks, so we have our pow pow filet. I just cut out a little steak from it. 
Um, and we're just gonna cook this up right now. We're saving the rest for later. We're just gonna only use two seasonings. We have garlic salt, Tony Sashri's. We're gonna season up this uh, little steak of pow pow. And then we are going to um, cook it for you guys and I'll show you exactly what to do. So we have our pan frying right now, getting heated with the butter. We're just gonna add our Tony's on top of the steak. And if you could not tell from past gets and cooks, I'm just gonna kind of rub it into the meat, make sure that it's not gonna fall off as soon as you put it into the pan. After you season it with Tony's, we're gonna take our garlic salt, and uh, you're gonna be pretty light with the garlic salt just because there's already um, salt in the Tony's itself. And you're just gonna press that, trying to embed it straight into the meat so that it doesn't fall out. All right, now because this steak is super, super uh, thick, I want it to cook evenly. So we're just gonna cut down um, down the middle and we're gonna make some miniature little slabs of pow pow. There we go, now you should have some little like sashimi looking chunks of fish. And we can just bring that over here to our pan. Right now, I just have a pan uh, with butter inside of it. And you're just gonna lay down your little steaks of fish onto the pan. So it doesn't take too long for these to cook on each side. So we're just gonna flip it over once it's uh, in that golden brown color that you're looking for. All right, so that was only like a couple minutes on uh, in total. We can just take this, put it on a smaller plate. Just like that, pow pow is all cooked. That's a simple recipe, Cajun style, so a little bit of garlic salt. Let's take it a taste test. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. Job well done. Yeah, it's a simple way to cook it. Um, very, very delicious. We might try smoking some later. I'm gonna so we'll put that on film, but other than that, enjoy the simple recipe. You have a great day. Stay tuned for some more adventures coming soon. See you on the next one.